Right, so we are going to solve one question on argentometric titration. Now the question here says 0.85 gram sodium bromine was dissolved in 20 ml of H2O, 50 ml of 0.2 mole silver nitrate with a factor of 0.982 of solution was added. The excess silver nitrate was completely neutralized by 7.5 ml of 0.2 mole ammonium cyanate. Ammonium tyocyanate rather of factor 0.899. Write the equation of reaction. Calculate the percentage purity of sodium bromide. Now, um, this question I want to assure you of 100% um, clarity. That's one. That's a 100% assurance of the answer. But I'm going to give you an overview of it so that in case if you see it, you'll be able to get some marks even if it is not all the marks. Because the question seems somehow, all right? Even if you are not going to get all the marks, but at least you get, let's say, 80% of the mark from what we are going to do here, all right? Now, look at it very well. You have 0 0.85 gram of sodium bromine was dissolved in 20 ml of H2O. Then uh, 50 ml of 0 0.2 uh, mosiva nitrate of factor this of solution was added now the first thing is write the equation of equations of reaction now in this question you have more than one equation of reaction actually you have what we call equations of what reaction are you getting it now the first equation of reaction you are going to have here is sodium bromide um let me come here to this page here so we have The first equation of reaction you are going to have here, you have sodium bromide, right? Reacting with what? Siva nitrate. All right? Now, when sodium bromide reacts with Siva nitrate, what are we expected to have? We are expected to have Siva bromide plus what? Sodium nitrate. This is the first equation of reaction. Are you getting it now? Now, we have another equation of reaction which is part B, because they told you that the excess of sodium nitrate, it means a particular amount of sodium nitrate, are you getting it now, was completely neutralized by 7.5 ml of 0.2 mole uh, ammonium tyocyanate. Now, this question is looking like, uh, what is it called, like back titration. But then, the reactants that actually react are not the same, or let's say the titrants, are not the same the titrant here you have ammonium cyanate and here what you have is what silver nitrate so they are not the same all you need to do is write the equation of reaction for this ammonium cyanate and silver nitrate so you are going to come here right ammonium tyocyanate rather plus silver nitrate are you getting it this and this reaction also involves the addition of HNO3, nitric acid, all right, to give us, if you check your manual, you see something like this, to give us AgSCN plus we have ammonium nitrate, exactly. Now, this is the equation of reaction. Now, if you look at the part B, we are going to start from the back. We are going to start working from the back. Now, they told you that the excess of silver nitrate was completely neutralized by 7.5 ml of 0.2 molar ammonium tyocyanate of factor 0.899. Are you getting it now? So, this one we have here is the excess silver nitrate that is reacting with what ammonium tyocyanate to give us this and this and at some point i told you that hno3 will be added to the reaction but that is not really your problem your problem is these two things here are you getting it now now if you look at it very well it's the equation of reaction balance siva siva cyanide at tyocyanate tyocyanate they will have nh4 they will have nh4 and then no3 no3 so even if this HNO3 is not here, the equation is 
definitely balance. Are you getting it? But we just have to put the HNO3 for the sake of clarity. All right. So having done this, the next thing we are going to look at now, you are not going to look at this equation of reaction. Now, one mole from what we've been learning since, ammonium thiocyanate definitely gives how many mole of silver nitrate? Give one mole of what? Silver nitrate. Now, what we are actually looking at here is to calculate the mass of silver nitrate that is in SS. Are you getting it now? We are trying to get the mass of silver nitrate that is in SS. Is that okay? By reacting it with what? Ammonium tau cyanate. Because if you look at the question very well, the question says the SS of silver nitrate was completely neutralized by 7.5 mL of this. So we want to get the mass of SS silver nitrate. Now, from this equation, you can also say that one mole of silver nitrate gave one mole ammonium thiocyanate. Is that okay? Now, one mole of silver nitrate, what is the mass of one mole of silver nitrate? According to what we have here, one mole of silver nitrate is what? 169.87 gram so you have it as 169.87 gram silver nitrate we give what we give one mole of this now one mole of this according to what we already learned concerning uh, this thing we say n will be what m times v right one mole will be one times what one so this become one mole and then here gives us what 1000 milliliter which is like one mole times one liter since the molar ratio here is so i'm trying to get the milli equivalent what i'm going to do here now how many moles of ammonium cyanate did we actually react it with if you look at the question very well they say it was reacted with 0.2 molar solution of ammonium cyanate so we come here i react it 0.2 molar indicates that we divide this by what five so we divide this by five. Now one sixty nine point um, eight seven divided by five. What is that going to give to us? I think that will give us thirty three point nine seven four. You can check gram silver nitrate. Abi, mm. is is that correct? Mm. To give us what zero point two molar one thousand milliliter of what? ammonium tau cyanate is that okay now the next thing we need to do now is to calculate the amount in milli equivalent so divide this by 1000 which is 0 point what 0 0.033974 gram silver nitrate which is in sso we are just trying to talk about this react with what 0 0.2 molar one mil of what ammonium tau cyanide now if you look at the question very well they gave you the uh title value that was actually it reacted with the title value they gave here is what 7.5 mil abby so you cannot come here and say 0 point this gave this so 0 point 0 or you cannot say that our calculated weight for silver nitrate will be equals to milli equivalent abi mm. times what title times title value yes, times the factor now in this question the factor was given what was the factor that was given now, if you look at it very well, milli equivalent is 0 0.03394 gram, 94 times title value 7.5, I think so. Yeah, 7.5 mil, if you look at it, times the factor 0 0.899, which equals to 0 0.899. 
Multiply this with this. What will be your calculated weight? Multiply these two together. 0 0.229 0 0.229 gram. Now, even if you are not sure of anything in this calculation, this particular one is very, very correct. Are you getting it now? So, it means calculated with the excess of silver chloride. This is the silver chloride in what? Excess that is present. Are you getting it now? Because we are told that that silver chloride that was present was what reacted with this. And about 7.5 mil was what reacted. So, we got the mass of SS silver chloride. Ah, silver nitrate. Now, you are now going to come here. So, we've gotten the amount of SS silver nitrate, which is this. What we just solved now is this part of the question. The SS of silver nitrate was completely neutralized by 7.5 molar of 0. 7.5 mil of 0. 0.2 molar ammonium thiocyanate. Factor of this. That's what we just look for. Now, the first part of the question was 0 0.85 gram sodium bromide was dissolved in 20 mil of H2O. Then 15 mil of 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate with factor this was added. Are you getting it now? Now, so at the end of the day, if you want to work backward now, let us calculate the mass of 15 mil of 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate. The mass of 50 mil of 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate. Because what we just calculated for now is what? The excess of silver nitrate. That means after sodium bromide had reacted with the uh, silver nitrate. Are you getting it? The remaining one is what reacted with this. And that remaining one now, we've calculated the, the mass to be 0 0.22 Nabi. 0. Um, 0.229. Is that okay? So, if we can actually get the uh, total mass of silver nitrate in the solution, that will help us to calculate the amount of sodium bromine that was initially present from the equation of reaction. Okay. Is that okay? So, if we think about it this way, now, one way we can actually think about it is we reacted with 50 mil of 0 0.2 mole silver nitrate. So, we come back here. We reacted with what? 50 mil. Right? 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate. Now, what is the mass of 50 mil 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate? What do you think is the mass? Of 50 mil 0 0.2 molar silver nitrate. Now, from what you know, molarity is number of moles over volume, right? In dm cube or in liter. So, first of all, let us calculate for the number of moles. Let's calculate for the number of moles. How do we calculate for the number of moles? Number of moles now will be equals to 0 0.2 divided by number of moles divided by volume. Volume is 50 mil. 50 mil to liter, what will it become? 50 divided by what? 1,000. Are we getting it? Which is what? 0 0.05 liter. So this will give us 0 0.05 liter. True or false? True. So at the end of the day, when you cross multiply, your N will be 0 0.2 by 0 0.05 mole. So what is the value to that? 0 0.01 what? 0 .01. 0 0.01 mole. So it means the total mole of silver nitrate that was present there was what? 0 0.01 mole. Are you getting it now? Now, how do you convert from mole, number of mole to mass? You know definitely that the number of moles is equal to what? Mass over what? Molar mass. Our mass now will be equals to number of moles times molar mass. Now, what is the molar mass of silver nitrate that was given in the question? Molar mass of silver nitrate is 160. Um, molar mass, yeah, 169.87. Are you getting it now? So you are now going to get the mass 
by saying our mass cos to number of mole, which is 169.87 point what? Eight seven abi times number of, uh, okay, this is supposed to be number of moles, which is 0 0.01 times what? 169.87. Mole. I mean a gram. What do you think this is going to give to us? Press your calculator. One point six nine eight seven. So the mass SS mass of this was what? One point six what? Nine eight seven. Nine eight seven. Are you getting it? This was the mass of what silver nitrate that was in SS. Are you getting it now? This was the mass of silver nitrate that was in what? In SS. Now, the mass, I mean, uh, that was in SS, let's say that was many. Now, we now calculated the SS, that means the one after the sodium bromide have reacted with silver nitrate. This is the silver nitrate total that was given. Hmm? So after the sodium bromine had reacted, the SS1 was this amount we got. This amount we got here initially, which was 0 0.2290. Are you getting it now? The SS1 was what? 0 0.2290. Is that okay? Mm. So you are now going to come here. So the amount that is due to the presence of sodium bromine will be equal to what? 1.6987 minus what? 0 0.229. Are you getting it now? 0 0.229. So subtract this for me and tell me the answer. What did you get? In gram. One point four six nine seven gram. So this was the amount that actually reacted with sodium bromide. Are you getting it now? So if you add the amount that reacted with sodium bromide plus the amount that did not react with the sodium bromide, it's supposed to give you what? The total, which is 1.6987. Do you get it now? Now, so this is the amount that reacted with sodium bromide. Now come to the equation of reaction between sodium bromide and... Uh, silver nitrate we are told that silver nitrate react with sodium bromine at one ratio one to form what to form um what is it called to form silver bromine plus what n a o three are you getting it now? Now, if you calculate, what is the mass of silver nitrate given in the question? 160. The mass of silver nitrate given in the question was what? 169.87 gram. Abby? Of silver nitrate. We react with the mass of sodium bromide given in the question 102.87. So this one will react with 102.87 gram hmm? of sodium bromide. Therefore, the amount, which is this amount here, 1.4697 silver nitrate. You know, this was the silver nitrate that reacted with sodium bromide, Abby. We react with S gram of what? Sodium bromide. Abby? Now, if you cross multiply, what is that going to give to us? It's going to give us 169.87 uh, times X is equals to 102.87 times 1.4697 are you getting it now now if you divide this by this what did it give to you 
x is what? 1 point what? 0 point, 0 point 890. 0 point what? 890. Okay. It gave 0 0.890 gram of what? Sodium bromide. Are you getting it now? So this is the amount of sodium bromide that was actually present instead of that one point whatsoever. So if you want to calculate the percentage purity now, percentage purity would be equal to what? This amount here, which is 0 0.890 from what we calculated, divided by what? Divided by the initial amount that was given in the question was the initial amount was 0 0.85 gram are you getting it now so we say divided by 0 0.85 gram times 100 percent what did that give to us give a 100 and some percent have you check hundred and four percent so that is the percentage purity of sodium bromine are you getting it now in this particular question now the next question here says what type of assay is this even if you don't get every other one at least you'll be able to get this one get this one get those major major steps in it you've gotten a good percentage of it even if your answer may not be hundred percent correct but definitely it's correct but I'm just doubting some, some of the steps here. Anyway, what kind of assay is this? This assay is called angiometric titration. Specifically, using the Vohard's method. Are you getting it now? Angiometric titration using the Vohard's method. Is that okay? So that is that. So you've actually assayed or gotten the amount of sodium bromide. Or you can say assaying sodium bromide with what? Siva nitrate and gentometric titration using the Vohard method. So that is basically that for this question. I think we are done. Is there any other question here that need answer? All right. So that is that for this one.